Hi all, you are on Max's channel. Here we watch natural phenomena that are happening right now one. Extreme weather conditions also caused a cargo ship to crack and forced the evacuation of a prison in Turkey. The country's northwest coast was affected by strong storms and strong winds, causing major flood damage in towns and cities in the central Denizli district. Unbelievable! The horror of the situation is beyond words. Strong windstorm and heavy rain have wreaked havoc across Turkey in recent days, posing a major warning about the country's climate after days of warnings from Turkey's state meteorological agency, storms and heavy rain brought daily life across Turkey to a standstill. Oh my goodness, the sheer terror people must be feeling. Oh no, not again. Another natural disaster. <laughs> Torrential rain began around 4 a.m. yesterday in Istanbul, affecting many districts in the city. The roof of a building in Kajathane was blown off by the storm, which increased in intensity. The sudden storm with gusts of 201 km per hour raged across the city center, bringing tragedy and destruction. Oh no no no, it's like a nightmare playing out before us. The community is currently grappling with loss of life and widespread damage and has descended into chaos people walking in Taksim Square had difficulty traveling due to the storm, while waves rose meters high on the coast, especially the Uskadar coast. This is a living nightmare. It's hard to grasp the extent of the tragedy. Wow, holy mackerel. This entire car is shaking right now. Oh my god. Get back on here. Oh my. This is a nightmare come true. I can't the believe storm what hit I'm witnessing. Istanbul's Silivai district at dawn had a negative impact on life. When waves rose several meters in the sea, workplaces on the beach were flooded. Trees were uprooted due to the storm. Strong winds knocked down billboards and billboards, and debris spread, breaking windows on buildings and cars. Even on the outskirts of the city there was hail. Residents had to hide indoors to avoid the tornado, and there were reports of dozens of fallen pillars and trees. Oh, yeah. yeah, I did. Oh, holy fuck. <laughs> Absolutely nightmarish. I can't believe my eyes. There were even reports of damaged buildings at the epicenter of the event. Fortunately, no injuries occurred, however, this tornado is a rare phenomenon for this area. In the western province of Izmir, the sea overflowed and water mixed with the sidewalks. 
This is absolutely devastating. I can't comprehend the scale of destruction. People trapped in floodwaters were rescued by police. Rain intensified overnight in the southern province of Antalya, flooding canals and stranding vehicles on the roads. Wow. Unbelievable! The devastation is beyond anything I could have imagined. Two boats sank inside, a tourist area in Antalya's Manavgat district. The storm also affected the city. Several trees fell in various parts of the city, falling on cars and some blocking roads. As a result, many vehicles were damaged. These precautions are taken to protect against potential hazard due to extreme weather conditions. This is pure horror. I can't fathom the pain people are going through. The storm and heavy rain caused heavy damage and disrupted power supplies in towns and villages, leading to the imposition of a state of emergency in the affected areas. In the southeastern province of Gaziantep, the downpour began at night and continued into the morning. Along with the rainfall, dense fog also affected some areas in the city. Oh my goodness! In the western province of Denis Li, strong winds begin around 2 a.m., especially strong in the city center. The roof of a building was blown off and trees were uprooted by the wind. Rain and storms also affected the northwestern province of Bursa. What a nightmare! Oh, the scale of this disaster is beyond belief! Oh my god! The roof of a house blew off in the morning. Police and firefighters were dispatched to the area. Extreme weather conditions also caused significant disruptions in daily life, forcing authorities to postpone educational activities in some areas of the Rin region for at least a day. Guys, take care of yourselves. Peace to everyone. <laughs>